Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Dave and I do tech reviews on things like Galaxy devices, iPhones, MacBooks, like this. And one of the main components of actually running a YouTube channel is making thumbnails. And sometimes that can be a little bit difficult and Adobe Photoshop is an amazing tool. And so if you're a content creator and having a hard time with thumbnails, which can be tricky, or you're an aspiring content creator wondering what you can utilize to make the pipeline a bit easier for yourself, I'm going to show you guys how I use Adobe Photoshop with a lot of their generative AI tools and show you the easy steps of adding things, reference images and things like that. Now, this video is sponsored by Adobe Photoshop, but if you guys watch the video long enough, you actually see that this generative AI stuff is super impressive. It's a very valuable tool. Let's jump right in. The brand new iPhone 16 in my hand, kind of need a thumbnail. I'm thinking it would probably be cool to have a background of me like holding the phone kind of like this in a city landscape in the background, or maybe something like roughly approximating that, right? It's rainy, I'm at home, I can drive out to New York City, right? Say two hours away right now. But that's kind of like the feel that I'm going for. So what we're going to do is this. I'm kneeling down right now, mind you, but I'm going to sort of pose kind of like if I was out in the city, acting like I'm taking a picture. So something kind of like this, maybe. Or sit right here, I'm going to use this picture now. Remove background, right? So now I have myself right here. I can add to mask. So I can make the adjustment here. Boom. So what's great here, right, is that you have Adobe's new Firefly image model. Add a city background from the perspective of someone walking on the sidewalk and make it slightly out of focus. And what's great too is that with Adobe's new Firefly image model, we're getting a lot better image generation for people's colors and objects as well. And so it's going to give you a few different perspectives here. I actually think this looks pretty good. Um, just because I didn't actually take the time to edit the picture of myself, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to add a bit of saturation to my image. There we go, just to add a little bit of color so you guys can get a better idea of what that would look like. But what's great is that you can do all of the color editing that you need to within Adobe Photoshop as well. All right, so let's say right here, right? I want to add a crowd of people walking in the the background. And what's great is that anytime you're generating anything, it's going to give you multiple variations to kind of fit what it is that you're looking for. So boom, right there, there you go. So you have a crowd of people walking over here in the background. This will be a couple of different variations. I think those all look really good. So what we can do is come all the way down here. We're going to click on reference image. And so now what we're going to do is, so honestly, it's just as easy as this, right? So we can come over here, um, food, truck, in New York City. It's a pretty good example of one. So we're going to go to reference image, click that, choose image. And we're going to go to recent screenshot, create a food truck in the background. And there you go. So now you have a food truck in the background. I think I like this one. I think this one works and what's really cool too, if you notice, it even adds the shadows from the sun. So that way it looks like a realistic placement in the actual environment. And that's a really big plus. I know I kind of did it a little bit earlier, but I really want to make some extra adjustments now. Uh, I'm going to come over here to the object selection tool. And what's great is that it intelligently knows that the iPhone is separate from my own person. Increase the brightness of it to make it stand out a bit more. Now say here, right, for the Apple logo, that's something you definitely want to stand out because that's what a lot of people notice. There we go. Now with that, we can adjust the contrast so that way it stands out more. Same thing here for the little top end. And then we can make that stand out a bit more as well. But because of the way that I had taken the picture, the light kind of made the Apple logo disappear. But with Adobe Photoshop, I could zoom in, select the element itself, brighten it up. And now you actually can see that you're looking at an actual Apple iPhone, right? And this is really just like a basic rundown of the way that the generative AI tools can be utilized alongside the Adobe Firefly model in order to generate really realistic looking backgrounds with realistic lighting, with realistic background objects and people. And on top of all all of that being able to select specific objects in the frame and tweak them accordingly and that way you can get a realistic looking image. So I'll have links in the description down below for Adobe Photoshop for you guys so you can get your hands on the software and that way you can take your thumbnail game to the next level and the software kind of does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You just do a little bit of tweaks here and there and then you're good to go. But thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out. I wish you a fantastic remainder of your day, afternoon or night depending on the time it is you are watching this and as always 
Peace, love, adios, bye guys, and have a great day.